Welcome to Unlock Layouts. In today's video, we are going to discuss one interesting topic that is antenna violation problem in the MIM capacitor. Let's start the video. Today we are going to discuss one interesting topic uh, that is antenna effects in the MIM capacitors. Generally uh, we are using capacitors to charge and discharge or to, to save some energies inside the some devices. Okay, To save some energy generally we need a capacitor. So now in the semiconductor devices we have a different types of capacitors. Uh, we have a MIM cap, we have a MOM cap, we have a MOS capacitor, we have a MIM MOM cap. So likewise we have a most different different types of structure we can create a capacitor formation because the forming the capacitor is it's little easy in the semiconductor fabrication. Okay in that capacitors type we have a one type of capacitor that is called MIM capacitor. Uh, so th that is nothing but metal insulated metal which means within the same level of the metal they are using to fabricate the capacitors. So it's not like your bottom metal and another one more metal top metal is going to stack together and it you know in between two different metals we are you know, creating the capacitor. Within the same plane, within the same metal, within the same level we are going to implement the capacitors that is called MIM capacitor. But here one interesting thing in the MIM cap, MIM caps are subjected to antenna effects. Okay, how come the antenna effects will occur in the MIM capacitor? Okay, in general antenna will affect only in the gate terminal. Okay, in generally if, if, if you refer any textbooks related to antenna, majority people or majority layout persons they know that antenna will occur only in the gate terminal. Okay, but how come here the MIM capacitors are subjected to antenna? So to understand this we have to go even more basic how that antenna is forming and how the antenna is going to damaging okay these two important factors are very much important see since our gate is acting like a capacitor that is the only reason the gate is having antenna issue same condition here instead of gate capacitor here we are implementing the capacitor by using the metal or here we are implementing the capacitor structure by using a different designs and different methods so anyway the matter is capacitor okay so whenever there is a charge induced in the time of fabrication okay too much charges if it is accumulated in the metal whereas the capacitor formation inside the metal or you know uh, so in case suppose if you have a two different metal which is having a capacitor formation if the charges are exceeding too much limit more than the capacitor value then there will be a permanent damage in the capacitor that is our antenna effect okay so same condition here we are facing and we are going to handle in the MIM capacitor okay so here they have clearly given that what is antenna how that antenna will occur and how the charges will build up across the metal okay so in this cross-sectional image they have given a clear picture about which layer how the antenna will get affect and which layer the antenna is going to damage now there is a metal 3 okay anyway this is the metal 3 is the one where we are trying to implement the capacitor okay so it's not like metal 2 metal 2 is just like a connecting layer okay but metal 3 is your actual capacitor so metal 3 we have a two different terminals actually so this one what we are seeing here this is your terminal 1 and another side what you are seeing this this is your terminal 2 so maybe positive terminal negative terminal vice versa you can use any terminal as a positive any terminal as a negative okay when this mim cap is fabricated okay with some higher metal anyway this higher metal need to connect through the lower metal only to the device okay because your device is having a metal one if you want to interact your metal one somehow from the metal three capacitor to metal one if you want to in, if you want to oh, if you want to if you want to connect the metals 
you need some metal too and you need some wire you need an interconnection layers actually that is really needed but what really happened here when there is a mim cap formation once the metal 2 is fabricated in between the metal 2 and metal 3 they will deposit some dielectric material in our case now they are using silicon nitrate as a dielectric material okay now they are using silicon nitrate as a dielectric material in between your m2 and m3 metal okay this is the insulator layer okay just because of this insulator layer okay we are going to create a capacitor formation in the mim cap okay in the same level because not only between your m2 and m3 within the same lane okay if you have a multiple m3 metals are routing parallelly in between do in between those metals also there will be a dielectric material so silicon nitrate will be present everywhere wherever there is no metal so in that condition only we are going to see antenna effects okay this is the cross-sectional view how the mim cap will get formed and which layer is going to get damaged permanently because of this mim cap antenna effect that is nothing but our silicon nitrate that is our dielectric material okay so that's what here they have mentioned that intermetal dielectric that is nothing but our imd okay so coming to the next figure here okay how the charges can build up across the mim capacitor so for example now there is a three diagrams given here okay the diagram number one the capacitor formation is happening only between your m3 and m3 there is a two different m3 parallelly routed okay in between the two m3 there is a dielectric material that is nothing but our silicon nitrate okay because of this silicon dielectric is the very thin layer maybe let it be thin layer or thick layer if your metal area of the m3 is exceeding too much okay then the too much charges will be accumulated in the metal so the too much charges accumulated in the metal we hear nothing but our m3 metal that can lead to a permanent damage of your dielectric material which is located in between those two metals okay now here the first diagram what they have given okay there is a metal which is routed on m3 we are trying to fabricate a mim cap here since the metal routed in the left and right it is very larger area so now we have the issue of antenna okay this antenna is happening just because of plasma okay no other things are there so here see clearly they have given the third diagram okay there is a m3 and there is another m3 in between the dielectric material we are creating the mim capacitor so if the charges are accumulated too much in the left and right of m3 then there may be a chances of damaging your insulating layer that is nothing but our silicon nitrate okay so then how to prevent this kind of antenna effects in the mim cap related antenna first of all see we should understand very clearly just because of the metal layers just because of the area of the metal layers the charges are accumulating so just because of that metal layers only the capacitor is going to get damage so what we can do the major role we can play with the area of the metal so that's the only one thing we can do it is a simple way another option we can go for a diode insertion that is a secondary option but the primary option like just we can play around the metal because generally we don't recommend it to use antenna diode because antenna diode will take lot of area and moreover even though if the antenna diodes are connected in the reverse bias region still there will be a small leakage current will be there across the diode okay even though if it is a reverse bias there will be a small amount of leakage current will be passed through the diode actually so this is the two important reason why the antenna diodes are not really recommended in the real time layout but we can clear the antenna errors or we can clear the antenna related issues simply by changing the metal width okay so here the figure number three okay preventing the damage of antenna diode what we can do here see for example here the capacitors we are forming in between the metal three so here the capacitor what we are doing it's a mim cap it's a mim capacitor okay it's a metal three mim cap now what the technology says if there is a equal metal width of the left and right of your capacitor for example your capacitor right side you have one m3 left side you have one m3 if you maintained equal m3 metal so what happened that should be less than 2 micrometer it should not be more than 2 micrometer okay if it is less than 2 micrometer or equivalent to 2 micrometer so left side and right side 
there will be an equal amount of charge will be induced okay so what happened left side also equal charge right side also equal charge so then there is no possibilities of antenna okay this is the first option second option in case your capacitors you are forming in the metal 3 but from the metal 3 the connections are going to the top level metal so that's why here they have given that the connections are going in the different metal okay so in this case if you used more than 3 micrometers of metal with here and if you use another different types of unequal metal 4 then may be a chances of antenna so what you can do here whatever metal length you are using for the metal 4 connection here that should be equivalent in the left and right side in case here if it is 3 micrometer right side also you should use 3 micrometer okay in case right side if you use 4 micrometer left side also you should use 4 micrometer okay all the metal should have the equal length and equal width and same area same condition applicable for metal 5 also okay this is the important thing in the first prevention method of your uh, antenna diode related MIMCAP antenna related issue coming to the second issue okay in case there is a floating capacitors node okay another way of solving the issue in case if there is a floating floating capacitor okay this m3 and this m3 nowhere it is connected it is simply a floating capacitor in our level okay so in that case even though there is a plasma induced in this metal so left side and right side we need to maintain the equal metal okay so what we need to do we need to maintain the equal metal in the left and right that is a that is a golden rule if it was the case then we will not get antenna related issue in the mem capacitor okay so here same amount of charges will be present in the metal 3 in the both the side so approximately the charges are same so there won't be any antenna but we should use the same metal length in this terminal and as well this terminal okay this is the important thing coming to the another option okay in case the floating capacitors or any type of capacitor which is connected to the top level metal okay we are not going to the bottom level metal in case now your capacitors is forming in the m3 level but we are connecting those capacitors terminals in the top level okay so top level metal only we are using for the routing so in this case what we can do same condition will applicable here okay so in the figure 5 what they have given the metal width should be less than 2 micrometer because if the metal width are less than 2 micrometer so that what happened it's a very smaller area so insufficient amount of charges will be built up between that metals actually okay so again this 2 micrometer is purely depends on the technology okay so this is actually uh, 180 nanometer technology so in 180 nanometer technology this 2 micrometer they have given okay in case if you are using a different technological node then the area may change okay it's completely depends on the technology so here it is a 180 nanometer so they have given the 2 micrometer is enough okay so then coming to the point so if the metal planes are smaller than 2 micrometer so the charges will be insufficient that means very less charges will be built up across the metal so there may be a less chances of dielectric your no there may be a less chances of damaging your dielectric material okay because here the major role is the area how much ever area you are reducing the number of induced charges is also going to reduce okay this is the uh, figure number five okay coming to the next option figure number six okay uh, in case okay if your metal 4 now here there is a capacitor is forming in the metal 3 layer okay in case if this metal 3 is going to route in the metal 4 but here we have used unequal metal of m4 for example one terminal of the capacitor is having a different width another terminal of the capacitor is a different width and another condition it is exceeding more than 2 micrometer so then there may be a chances of antenna so this way it is really not recommended same condition for m5 also see here right side they have used uh, 2 micrometer metal width but what about left side okay left side is a different uh, width of the metal okay so they have not given any number but that is not equivalent in the left and right so if you are not using the equivalent metal in the left and right again there is a chances of creating antenna so this method is really not recommended okay so all those methods are like how your antenna will occur and what condition your antenna will occur okay so these are all the methods like you know in which way only we will see the antenna okay in which condition we will see the antenna diode okay in case okay this metal uh, you know uh, 
uh, property maintenance for example we cannot always assure that we can use both left and right of the capacitor in the same length of the metal it is really not possible when when you are working in the real time layout it is really impossible sometimes one terminal will be connected to a different node another terminal will be connected to your ground node so the routing cannot be equal it is really impossible to make the equivalent routing okay anyway it is possible but majority time we cannot maintain that uh, serpentine connection for this capacitor that is your equal uh, connection for this capacitor it is really not possible okay then the second option is like inserting the diode okay how to insert the diode for the antenna related issue okay first of all your diode one terminal need to be connect to your ground terminal okay that is nothing but your p substrate but another terminal of your diode that is nothing but your cathode okay your cathode always supposed to be connect to the higher metal okay it should not be connect to the lower metal in case see here in this diagram we have built up the capacitors in the m3 layer okay so we need to connect this you know we need to connect this diode between your m3 and your substrate okay so this is also reverse bias diode anyway we have to use reverse bias diode not a forward bias diode okay this reverse bias diode your cathode terminal need to be connect to your top metal that is our m3 another terminal your anode need to be connect to ground okay this is the way how we can add your capacitor because uh, see this is one terminal of your capacitor this is another terminal of your capacitor okay in between this we have some empty spaces right so this empty spaces only we will get a dielectric material that is our silicon nitrate so in between these two metals only the charge no it can act as a capacitor so both left and right we need to add antenna diode okay this is like normal okay antenna diode to prevent the antenna related problems in the capacitor whereas if you are not able to maintain the same width of the metal okay so then coming to the second condition see in this second condition here anyway the capacitors is forming in between the metal 3 but the connections are going to the metal 4 okay we are not using the top level uh, no like uh, lower level metal the connections are going through the metal 4 even in this case also what we have to do nearby to this capacitor anyways this reverse bias diode need to be add always to the near to the capacitor okay so nearby to the diode we can add on antenna diode okay this is explicit, explicit antenna diode we can add nearby to the diode so you same way here your cathode terminal is connected to m3 your anode terminal is connected to ground okay another way what we can do is this is an, this is one option second option here also you can connect two different diodes okay so three diodes need to be connect in case if there is an antenna diode okay only one diode is really not able to uh, you know resolve your problem you have to add three different diodes okay if in case if this kind of structure is there in your layout then coming to the another uh, you know structure here see for example here also like what we are doing so the capacitor we are forming in the between your m3 layer but the connections are going for the m4 layer in the left side the connections are going to the m4 layer in the right side even though in this case what we have to do okay either you can use this explicit antenna diode in this case okay if in case if you don't have any other area or any other area issues are there then simply you can connect another well diode here okay drain well diode in this left side one diode right side one diode so your capacitor have a two terminal you have to add diode okay in the both two terminals okay this is the third option to prevent the antenna related issues I hope I have given some valuable information to you in this video. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click like button and share this video to your friends. For more details about this video, please contact us to my email ID and follow us on my Facebook page and Twitter page and kindly subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell button.